is this famous person? Well, you'll find out in just a moment on that exciting and hilarious television game, Masquerade Party, brought to you by Esquire Shoe Polishes, makers of Esquire Boot Polish, the polish that puts a looking glass shine on your shoes, and Esquire Lanel White, the white shoe cleaner that makes your shoes whiter than new, kitten soft, too. And now, here's your genial master of ceremonies for Masquerade Party, Peter Donald Esquire! Good evening. Well, what a crowd. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome once again to Masquerade Party. This is the show where celebrities from all walks of life come in fabulous disguises and make up to try and stump our panel of experts who have to figure out who they are in real life. We get started, as usual, by meeting our distinguished panel. First, our boy with the big, big smile for whom I've written a song. Bobby, Bobby Sherwood King with the wild front teeth. Bobby Sherwood, there he is. <laughs> and next to Bobby, next to Bobby we have that five foot 11 bundle from heaven on channel seven, Dagmar herself. <laughs> Next to Dagmar, we have our poetic sage who made this reflection on a wicked world, quote, purity is obscurity, Ogden Nash. <laughs> and last in the gay little daisy outfit there, our widely read authoress who this week let Mr. Dunninger read her mind. And we hope he finished reading it because she's going to need it tonight for sure. Ilka Chase. Right, panel, on your toes, and I do mean toes, because last week we just got started with our mystery masquerader. It is back again tonight to try and stump you, and here it is, introducing masquerader number one. <laughs> just uh, sit right down there, sir, and uh, you realize that the clue that you see on your home screens is not seen by the panel at any time. And as usual, our masquerader's getup is in some way a clue to its identity, maybe place of birth, or home, or an event in its life, or part of its occupation, any one of a million things. And now, would you mind saying a few things just to get the panel started? Uh, stop, fellow, it's the choo <laughs> Stop, fellow. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Uh, now let's tell the folks at home and in the studio who our masquerader really is. panel. I see by my little notebook here you used up 12 seconds last week. That means you have four minutes and 48 seconds to go. And we will start with Bobby Sherwood. That's a pretty jazzy outfit you're wearing there, Dad. Are you by any chance the doorman at uh, number 10 Downing Street? Oh, don't be silly, old Pip. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, Pip. Old Pip, yeah. Rather. Old, old Pip Pop. Well, uh, are, are you disguised as a specific character, uh, like, uh, say, Raffles? Mm. Oh, no. Except, no, 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 no. I have nothing no. whatsoever to do with Raffles, uh, lottery, bingo, or anything like that. Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> no, it is not, well, not a specific character. Let's not be ridiculous about one other thing, huh? This is a woman, right? Oh, uh, positively brilliant bully for you. Yes, with a show, yes, yes, it's a woman. One minute gone. Well, uh, about that outfit you're wearing there, uh, are you a dancer in real life? You know, dancers sometimes wear... Uh... Well, I've tripped the light fantastic a bit, though. Yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, but not, not primarily known for dancing as a profession. No, no. just sideline, you know. <laughs> Well, are you... <laughs> are you, uh, Are you British or of British extraction? Don't be silly, Bobby. I'm from Chicago. <laughs> yeah! I got more news for you. I just ran out of questions, but I think you just let the cat out of the bag. Oh, so. never mind. We are not going to go from the cat out of the bag. We are going to dag. How are you? That's I'm unusual. Chicago, that's uh, are you from Hollywood? She just said she's from... No, from Chicago, that's right. I wasn't you listening. Mean, I was so carried away sitting next to you in Ogden. Do you mean working in Hollywood? 
I'm not going to say what I meant. I may get in trouble. Uh, well, like who? No, are you Barbara Britton? You know, Britain, Great Britain? <laughs> uh, Britain. Barbara Britton. Oh, 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 that's a good one, yeah. Charlie. I'm glad you like oh, it. Here it goes again. No, no slugging tonight. Are, yes, you, uh, was... are you in show business? Yes. Yes. Honey, are you famous for playing men? <laughs> uh, exactly how do you mean that? Well, well I meant like a... <laughs> yeah, straighten this one out, fellas. You know how I meant it. No, I meant like Signa Hassett, you know, like who played the man in the house on 92nd Street. I never went near that house. No. <laughs> no, and very definitely not known for playing I hear it did need a new coat of paint anyway. Uh, is this disguise in some way connected with your name? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, not, not the costume as a whole, but the, the, the connection is with the name. Then it's uh, some three, part of the costume time. that would give us a tip to what people would call it. Like people would call me. <clears throat> yes. Well, that's yes. nice. The, the part of the costume will help you. I believe that's your five, and we have Ogden next. Oh. Well, I'm, I'm looking at the costume. The, the most obvious thing at the moment, uh, madam, is that topper that you're wearing. Uh, does that lead us into anything? Or am I barking up the wrong hat on... Uh... Uh, doesn't lead you to a thing. That is not the connection, Ogden. Uh, the lady has never appeared in film or television of Top Up. No, uh, no not Top uh, Well, she looks uh, very much to me like a dude. I wonder if she could uh, be along with Howdy Doody on... Uh... Oh! Uh, n no, well, that, that so. is not the connection. Uh, not the type of strings I use, yes. No. Uh, is the connection the cane? No, 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 no. no. Four no. minutes gone. Uh, I see a gleam in Elka's eye. I'll wave pass? my rights. Okay, Elka. Uh, the connection is not the monocle. How is she putting that? Is the connection the monocle? Is the connection the monocle? <clears throat> yeah, yes, the connection is I the monocle. The name Wait a minute. Monica. Uh, Monica. No, the Monica McCall's I got no idea. Do you want to pass to Bobby? Yeah, I'll pass because I, I know the Monica. The time is... just, gave, just gave yourself away. Monica Lewis. Monica uh, Lewis. Yes. <laughs> Off here. Of course, that is, uh, that's a terrible pun that I believe I made once on the show uh, when somebody came with a monocle and I said Monica Lewis and we decided when we got the real in-person beauty here, there is the beautiful face of Monica Lewis. Well, looks, fine. looks fine, looks wonderful. And, uh, I was going to say the, the well-known songstress, but boy, you're going beyond that now. I've caught two things you've done on television with the heavy dramatics. Yes, I tell you. Oh, I tell you. I'm getting to be a regular thespian. Yeah, you really are. The, this is some actress, this kid. I've known her Thank quite you. a while, too. It's wonderful. How's the record album going? What is it? Fools, Fools, Fools rush. rush In. Yes, that's just to let the people know that I haven't forsaken singing in spite of the dramatic show. Oh, no, never. Now, let's find out what we did here. You keep this accent going, you will be the new Penelope <laughs> Dudley Ward. Uh, let's see. How do we go there, Renee? Okay. 264 seconds were used, Peter. $264 to your favorite charity, Monica. What is that? Well, it's the Heart Fund, Peter. They will get our check for $264, and, Dad, this is what you need the most. There's an Esquire footman <laughs> who sends you a year's <laughs> supply. Thank Stay you. that way. Gee, that's nice. Well, before we meet Masquerader number two, let's eavesdrop on a very tense dramatic scene. <laughs> 